Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you had a fantastic week. I hope you are excited about the weekend. Um, it is time once again for the weekly beauty chit chat. So this is the video where I discuss all things fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary in terms of beauty products that I was loving over the course of the last week. Um, if I happen to have a little bit of a flop, I will definitely let you guys know about that as well. But um, it's all good this week. Just, just goodness. A couple of new things, um, some things that um, I have been using for a while. And um, yeah, so as always, I will be linking everything in the description box right below this video. Um, if you are interested in where to purchase these things, read up other people's reviews, find out price point, all of that fun stuff. Um, I try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So check out the description box for more information. Um, I am super excited to um, share a couple new things and I think I wanna kind of get started there. So the first is this. Um, have you been to Trader Joe's lately? If not, may I encourage you to go? Because, oh, you guys, they have a whole collection in this little um, uh, Trader Joe's Brazil nut release of theirs. So there is the shower gel, there's a body scrub, a body butter, as well as a candle. This is the body wash, obviously. This has coconut oil and shea butter in it, and it is a delightful salted caramel and pistachio scent does that sound familiar to any of you uh sol de janeiro fans out there probably um i'm not gonna say it is an exact dupe it's very close this is very very close to the sol de janeiro Chirosa, i think 62 fragrance that's the fragrance that they used for the Brazilian foreplay body wash, gel cream body wash of theirs. Um, it's also the scent that is in the original Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. So um, I had to pick this up. And in fact, Stella pointed this out to me the last time that we were in Trader Joe's and she loved it too. So I bought a bottle for her and I bought a bottle for myself and I've been using it this week. You guys, this is a fantastic body wash and it's $5.99. So much less expensive than the Sol de Janeiro. Now, is the scent exact? No, but it's close enough. Um, I feel like it's missing that like floral component that I feel like I pick up in the Sol de Janeiro Chirosa 62 fragrance, but this is lovely it is absolutely lovely i've used it to shave my legs it has a nice creamy lather to it i actually find that the lather of this is ex extremely similar if not the exact same as the sol de janeiro body wash the fragrance is close enough um it is non-drying and leaves my skin feeling refreshed clean not tight not overly dry it's good stuff you guys um there's aloe in here. There is um, centella in here, chamomile. I mean, there's like a ton of really, really great ingredients in this formula. There's the Brazil nut seed extract. Um, yeah, it's just, it's a really, really nice formula. And um, I would definitely recommend picking this up if you are on a budget or you just want to save some money and you live in a state where you are lucky enough to have Trader Joe's. Um, I always have people telling me like, oh, you should go to Aldi and get this. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, dudes, but there's no Aldi in Oregon. I think that's a Midwestern thing. I think I saw an Aldi in upstate New York once. I don't know. Aldi is very foreign to me. I know it's a, a German store. Like I remember living in Germany and seeing Aldi's there. Um, but yeah, it's, we don't have them here. But we do have Trader Joe's, which to me is... I think it's a fair trade. I love me some Trader Joe's. As soon as I finish this, I'm gonna get more. I think this is a wonderful, less expensive option for a great body wash. All right, you guys. Um, I was loving this this week and I finished it this week. What is this? This is a Penrose fragrance. This is their fragrance, Frile, uh, I was gonna call it Frile Child. It's a wild child. Um, I have a little wild child. By the way, my little wild child um, graduated from fifth grade yesterday. She's now a middle schooler. It's crazy. 
it's like this little baby that I had just over 11 years ago is now off to middle school. It's blowing my mind, you guys. Okay, so I wanted to go ahead and look up the fragrance notes of this for you guys. I feel like most of what I smell in this particular scent is the frangipani and the gardenia, but I did want to mention some of the other fragrance notes because this is lovely. I picked this one up on a whim um, when I ordered my beloved Secret Genius. <laughs> And oh man, this is fantastic. I do want the full size of this. This particular fragrance is very young, very floral, very, um, it's very pretty, definitely a very feminine fragrance, and I think a great summertime floral for sure. So tiara flower, bergamot, and freesia are the top notes. Um, jasmine, gardenia, and frangipani are the mid notes. Those are the ones that stand out to me the most. But there's also vanilla and amber in here, which is, it's just a lovely way to round out this fragrance with just a touch of warmth, which I, th I which is I think what makes it such a great like summertime floral scent. I really wish I had more in here. Like I, ooh, the tiniest is now it's just like puffs of air. Yeah. Okay, I, I need to order this. This is absolutely delightful, you guys. The longevity of the Pinrose fragrances I think is quite good. The projection I think is fantastic. This particular fragrance, for whatever reason, it kind of transports me back to the 90s. Something about this makes it feel like one of those classic, like very happy, like I'm thinking like Clinique happy, right? Like that type of just happy, bright, summery scent like it just it just makes you smile and this is a good one for that like this one makes me smile i love it i recommend it so much and i'm sad to be finishing it but also at the same time i finished another perfume you guys that's that's amazing especially for someone with a pretty extensive collection i love finishing perfumes speaking of finishing Look how close I am to finishing C. Um, I brought it in here just so that I remind myself that next week, this is the one that I really need to focus on. Um, I love that scent. Unfortunately, it's not cruelty-free. That one was a gift, but if you are looking for a cruelty-free dupe, check out Woody Freesia. Just brought this in here. They're very similar. Not spot spot on, but on my skin, like it's the the differences are like minuscule so i think it's worth getting the dupe um just save yourself some money all right let's keep going um let's talk a new scent from pharmacy green clean so i am a pharmacy partner that means that i uh sometimes will get the new releases when they come out um they did send me this particular one for pr so i didn't pay for this one however i will be picking up a couple more before the summer is over because this is a limited edition scent this is their new strawberry shortcake clean this is the makeup melt away cleansing balm it's basically the same as the green clean but with a different scent right like it works exactly the same you're just getting a different fragrance here um i will say I do wish the fragrance in here was just a touch more um, aggressive, stronger. Stronger is probably a better word. I wish the fragrance was just a little bit stronger. It kind of smells like a strawberry shortcake almost mixed with that original green clean scent, but it's it's lovely. I love the smell of this. Um, I love the smell of the original green clean. So, but I think it's fun to have, you know, the different fragrances sometimes. So I'll definitely pick up one or two more of these before they go away, just to have them on hand. Um, if you just stick with the original green clean, you're good there because this is gonna do the exact same thing, just a slightly different fragrance. I like the fragrance a lot though. I'm a big fan of this one. Um, but does it smell exactly like a strawberry shortcake? No, it's not like exactly like a strawberry shortcake. It's kind of like a strawberry shortcake uh, mixed like with, like I said, the original fragrance, which yeah, anyway, I like it. If you're hearing snoring, it's Alf. He is taking a nap behind me here. We took them on a two mile walk this morning and um, they're exhausted, so I, Taking the dogs for walks was a really smart decision. We're starting to do that every morning, Craig and I. Um, okay, you guys, you gotta you gotta try this. If you have hair like mine, I am telling you the Purology uh, Instant Levitation Mist um, with their Anti-Fade Complex. This is such a great volumizer. That's what this is, it's a volumizer. Um, I used this for the first time was it last Saturday or the Saturday before? I don't know. Craig and I went to a wedding. One of our friends finally got married. 
and um, I ended up using my hair waver and I wanted to make sure that I was using products that allowed the wave to actually stay in my hair. Um, naturally, this is my hair. One, it's if you're new here, this is my natural hair color. Gray is, I'm, I just have bad genetics. So yes, it's gray and it's, it, it's natural. I don't dye it this way. Two, it's straight. <laughs> like the, It could not be any straighter if I took an iron to it. Also, my hair does not want to hold a wave or a curl to save its life. It's just not interested in complying in any kind of way. So I have to use a lot of products, right? Um, so I combined this fabulous volumizing from this with the Paul Metro Extra Body Sculpting Foam. So I put both of these throughout my hair, obviously put in a heat protectant uh, first. I, I'm using the Amica Hydro Rush, the blue one. I'm using the new Amica leave-in. It's fabulous, highly recommend. Um, but these two together kept that wave in my hair all day long. And this week, just these two together have given my hair such nice volume it's not sticky it's not crunchy it's i love it i have this in my backup stash in this closet over here for months i bought this gosh i could have bought this like last year at some point probably towards the end of the year but i know i bought this like many many months ago and then put it in my backup stash and then was trying to use up other things that i already have in my bathroom luckily i got through a lot of my volumizing mists and i was finally able to pull this one out and i am sad that i haven't been using it sooner this is an instant repurchase just hands down instant repurchase if you haven't tried it and you want some serious volume in your hair, I definitely recommend this. And I also really actually recommend this. This is, I don't know, Paul Mitchell has been around for a long ass time and there's a reason. He, he, Paul, Paul himself, I don't, I don't know if Paul's still creating these formulas, but good stuff. It's a reason that's been around forever. Um, I can remember being in middle school actually and wanting my mom to buy me Paul Mitchell hair care products because a lot of my friends whose parents had way more money than mine um, would buy them like expensive hair stuff. <laughs> and my mom was like, yeah, dude, sorry, I'm not even using Paul Mitchell. So um, the whole family is using Suave. <laughs> you can pick out the fragrance. So mm, yeah, uh, strawberry, by the way, was my favorite back in the day from Suave, but from White Rain, their coconut, do you guys remember the white rain coconut scent? Mm, absolutely fabulous. Anyway, let's keep going. I have another pharmacy product. Um, by the way, if you wanna save 20% on anything pharmacy, you can use my pharmacy discount code that will be in the description box down below. It's through the pharmacy website. It is an affiliate discount code. You don't have to use that if you're not comfortable with it, but it'll save you 20% on anything on their website. Um, you can also buy both of these products, by the way, at Sephora if you would rather purchase them from Sephora for ease of return or whatever. This is their Honey Savior All-in-One Skin Repair Solve. So the reason that I busted this out, this is something that I've always had on hand for a very long time. Um, I've actually been using this product for years. I think this is my third tube of it. Um, this is something that I use whenever Stella gets little bug bites. Um, this is something that I will also use on my eczema. This is something that I also use on burns. So remember how I told you that I was using that hair waver for that wedding? Yeah, so Craig was having a conversation with me while I was doing my hair. And um, I'm gonna see if I can show you this without like, yeah, okay, you see that little mark right there, that little friend. So I was, you know, just crimping, waving, crimping, waving my hair. And just because I turned to look at him and just like right on the old shoulder, didn't feel great. Um, but oh man, immediately after I put this on, it soothed that burn faster than anything else. This is fabulous for burns. If you have a sunburn, it soothes that. Um, like I said, if you have eczema, it soothes that. This is a fabulous product. So this has echinacea and honey in it. Um, it's just a really, really great product that, like I said, is a must have if you have kids. It smells like, smells like honey. It has the consistency of like Vaseline. Can you, here, let me, um, see that? Yeah, it has the consistency of like, almost like a, like a Vaseline, maybe not quite as thick. Um, so worth putting in your first aid kit. Absolutely. Gotta do it. 
All right, let's talk um, another skincare item here. Okay, I have been using this New Face Hydrating Aqua Gel with Hyaluronic Acid and Glacial Water for a long time now. I've been pairing it with my uh, Foreo Bear. By the way, next week is going to be all like skincare updates. Um, I don't do like a ton of skincare content anymore because I feel like most people are looking for like dermatologists to share that kind of information or like advanced estheticians. And I totally understand why. Um, I'm not a skincare expert, I'm just an enthusiast. I just like to try things and see what gets my skin looking its best. Um, but I, I do think it's kind of fun every once in a while just to share what I'm doing. So I have taken a serious break from a lot of my devices. One of the videos I'm gonna do next week is what devices I am currently using. There's only like a really small handful that I'm currently focusing on. And one of the changes that I made was switching from my tripolar and my even skin lumo to microcurrent and the microcurrent device that i uh personally prefer is the foreo bear um one it's really easy to like it's very comfortable in your hand but two it has this anti-shock system so you'll never get like a little zap from it or anything um it just works incredibly well with this gel now i actually have the foreo serum as well and i prefer this new face in terms of conductivity gel to the foreo one what i like about this is it's incredibly hydrating and after i'm done i don't wipe it off my skin i basically just rub it into my skin and then go in with other skincare at the end of the evening i've been using this device now for many months and have been talking about doing an update for you guys and just haven't because i don't know I just sometimes get overwhelmed and then other times I just don't want to do certain videos for whatever reason. So I've put it off long enough. I do kind of want to share some serious thoughts about this thing because I do think it is, I, I do think that I prefer the microcurrent at this point over the DMA. And I will say it has made a difference in my jawline here. When I started getting the uh, masseter muscle talks, it shrunk this area back here and took out a lot of the fullness and then what started happening is I started like these jowls here started becoming a little bit more prominent so I got a little bit more aggressive with the microcurrent over here and it has made a difference I no longer have that little like wanting to form here you have to be consistent it's not something you can ever really stop doing it's not like you reach a certain point with your devices and then you can just be like all right done with that there's still maintenance you guys any at-home device is going to have maintenance um so please make sure that you continue to use the product you probably don't have to use it to uh at the like the frequency as when you first start out but you still you still have to do maintenance I mean, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but anyway, this is great. This is, these are great together. More coming next week. All right, just a couple of makeup items here really quickly. I am still only using cream shadows. So this week it was either the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Oyster Pearl or this one, which I have had for years. I don't know if I should still be using this product, but I did disinfect it and I scraped off the top layer before I started using it. This is a MAC Paint Pot. When was the last time we heard people talking about MAC paint pots? It's been, what, like 10 years? At least on YouTube. This is Constructivist paint pot. This has always been my favorite. Um, and it's so pretty. So it, it looks very chocolate brown in the pot, but it does have a touch of purple to it. It's kind of similar in my eyes. It's, it's a little browner than satin taupe, obviously but these two actually complement each other quite nice. Um, if you go over top constructivist with satin taupe, that's fabulous. Try it. If you have both, try it. That's really nice. But anyway, I've, I've also paired these two together. So today, for example, I mixed, <laughs> I mixed Oyster Pearl and constructivist together and came up with this eyeshadow look. I'm telling you, cream shadows are where it's at for the summer. I don't really love cream products anywhere else on my face. I just don't think that my oily skin works well with cream products. Um, there are some oily skin people out there who swear by them, but not me. I prefer powder for the most part, but in terms of cream shadows, these guys stay put. Now, I do use an eye primer, so 
keep that in mind. But these are gorgeous. Uh, MAC is now cruelty free, so I won't be repurchasing this one, but Charlotte Tilbury is, so there you go. I did a review of this yesterday, uh, the uh, Hamish Tone Up Sunscreen Bulgarian Rose Tinted ro Tone Up. Yeah, this guy. Um, watch that video if you're interested in purchasing this. It works great on my oily skin, I will tell you that right now. But if you are medium or above in skin tone, I don't know that this is going to work super well for you. I definitely have to go over this with makeup because it makes me look very pale very pale a little bit more pale than i'm even comfortable with because i'm naturally quite white <laughs> quite pale if you will um and i'm still using these this week I, I always tend to get the most questions about like what's on your eyes what's on your lips so i'm gonna start just mentioning it in every single weekly beauty chit chat so if you're curious it'll be here um i just i don't list those things in the description box i i don't know i get I have ADHD like at this point in my life so I try to like do as much as I can in the description box but then also I'm just like I also want to go eat an English muffin right all right so the this is milky glosses from NYX in Ube milkshake and cherry skimmed um, I think cherry skimmed was a limited edition color it's on a super sale at Ulta if it is still available obviously I'll link it down below um, they're very similar I don't think you need both today I have Come on now, friend, focus. There we go. You can see they're very, very similar, right? I have Ube Milkshake, this one, on my lips today. I love it. I just think these are so gorgeous. Um, and then I just wanna give one more plug for this. I, first of all, I really need to get the stopper out of here because it's getting hard for me to reach the little bit at the bottom. I love this stuff, you guys. Um, in fact, I'll put it over top. Oh, it's so, oh, I just love this. So what is this? It's the City Beauty City Lips Night Oil. I don't, I don't use it just at night. This will give you the softest lips ever. This is one of those lip treatment products that really absorbs into the lips and plumps them up just with moisture, not as like a lip plumper. Um, just with moisture, it makes my lips look so smooth. And the reason that I also really wanna like stress how fabulous this is, is because Stella has really dry lips. She's a lip licker. Like it's one of her little like ticks that she does frequently. I can't get her to stop. But when I give her this to put on her lips, it immediately soothes her lips. And it's it makes her less likely to lick her lips because there's always, you know, like a nice light film on there. This is really lightweight. This is nothing like the texture of their um, city, their regular city lips glosses. Why can I not find one? Oh, these guys, these city lips glosses, very thick, very opaque. This texture is very thin. Also, this is just meant to be like a treatment. So there's no color to this at all. Um, but if you don't like the texture of this, I think you're really gonna like the texture of this and you get that again nice like moisturized lumped effect all right I've been talking for oh gosh, over 23 minutes sorry um, I'm gonna cut myself off I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend let me know what you're up to in the comments down below let me know what you're loving this week if there's anything that you recommend to me and um, I appreciate you guys so much thank you for being here thank you for supporting my channel it really does mean the world to me that you take the time to watch my videos and I feel like I should be saying that more often, so thank you. Um, if you are new here, I would love it if you would take the time to subscribe, and if you found this video helpful, give it a big fat thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.